Our next topic that we want to discuss is groups. Under groups we have access groups, we have access areas, we have output groups, we have input groups, and then we have card plus card groups. An access group is what we use if we want to restrict a user from being able to use a particular reader or to restrict them using a reader during a time zone. So under access groups we would hit our green insert, we would give it a name, and then we have to do the green plus a second time. Highlight our new access group, hit our green plus. Now we will see that are the available readers. If you had 20 readers you would see them all. So what you would do for an access group you would select the reader that you want this person or this group of people to be able to use. You would select the time zone. It can be always or it can be a specific time zone. Now by selecting this the people in test will be able to use reader 1 uh, but they'll only be able to use Reader 1 on this time zone which was set for Monday through Friday 8 to 5. An access area is used primarily for anti-passback and so we will not at this time uh, cover that, we'll cover that under and a pass back. Output groups are used for a number of things. Primarily we use those for elevators and what we, how you create an output group is you would again hit your green plus insert and I would then select my outputs that I want this group to be in. And in this particular one um, I want this person in this output group when they swipe their badge I want to be able to open door 1, door 2, output 1A and output 2A. Output 1A is going to my elevator floor 1, output 2 is going to elevator floor 2 and I just because want to open door 1 and door 2. So I do want to give it a name. I'm going to call it elevator and I'm going to call it test. So when I assign a person to elevator test or to an output group then I will open all my doors and all my outputs. An input group we never really use. I do, um, basically it's the exact same thing except it's for inputs. So if I had some reason that I wanted to uh, s send something to my inputs, I would do that. It's the same as creating an output group. Card plus card group, all I'm going to do here is give it a name. And from that, then I would put people into that card uh, plus card group so that the software would know when I am assigned to it that it's going that I have a badge that can be used in the card group and that it is looking for a second person to swipe the badge.